when you punch the bag, just like when you kick the bag, penetration is important. I don't want to punch with an extended arm that barely reaches the bag. I don't want to punch where I'm crowded myself and it's too difficult to get any extension out of it. I want to be at the end of the punch. I want to penetrate about that far into the bag, about half the depth of the bag when I throw my punches. Common mistakes for students, first, the guys in particular, they're gonna muscle the punch. They will tighten up and muscle the punch. And we wanna have loose snapping punches. When you watch a, a good boxer, shadow box, his punches snap. There's very little muscle action involved at all. It's all timing and torque, not muscle. So when we throw this punch, we wanna be loose. Tell them it's like rolling up a towel and snapping your buddy. That's, that's the snapping kind of action. So imagine there's a fly here, and I want to pop it as fast as I can and get it back. Pop, get it back as fast as possible. Once we start to get that, we combine that with the penetration, and that's when we start to get some power in our techniques. Literally, when you start to snap your punches, people start to fall down when you're sparring with them. It's the truth, it's a beautiful feeling. So when I throw this punch, I want to stay loose, and pop the hands right back to the face. Loose, relax. Swinging bag. 